Welcome to this week's Trade Plates TV news show. Our top stories today will be looking at some of the big dealer group's annual results. There's been more trouble for Volkswagen as the manufacturer is facing a lawsuit filed by its own investors. And Mahindra prepares to launch its electric car, but you won't be able to buy it from a dealership. First up, Lucas announced its annual results last week. 2015 was a year that saw the company make a major move to acquire Benfield Motor Group and record its seventh successive year of profit growth. Revenue, operating profits and profit before tax were all up on the previous year. Revenue across the group increased 20% to £3.65 billion, with operating profit up 12% to £85.9 million. Adjusted profit before tax increased 11% to £72.1 million from £65 million in 2014. I caught up with Managing Director Nigel McMinn earlier in the week to find out how lookers have managed to continue this growth. And a lot of that is just down to really good, solid management, um, you know, operational execution at a, at a high level and constantly working on bringing up underperformers to the average uh, and improving, you know, all of the, me the metrics and the KPIs that are in the business. So if you like the day job mm. uh, of organically making the business as good as we can do. Um, and then across that seven years, of course, we've had a number of acquisitions. Uh, most recently, last year, uh, the, the integration of Benfield Motor Group. Um, and they had a strong start uh, to their, uh, you know, their tenure, if you like, within Lufthansa. Um, you know, they contributed strongly straight away uh, last year, so that was part of the, the, the growth and profits as well. Inchcape PLC also reported another year of robust profit growth when it released its annual results last week. The company reported revenue growth of 7.8% and a 10.3% increase in operating profits. Revenue for 2015 stood at £6.8 billion, up from £6.7 billion in 2014. Reported operating profit was £275.2 million. The company highlighted a strong performance from its diversified worldwide portfolio, including its emerging market segment which operates in countries such as Peru, Chile and Ethiopia. The latest in the annual results comes from Marshall Motor Holdings. The group which runs 76 dealers around the UK showed increases in revenue and adjusted profit with record results from both retail and leasing segments. The company reported that revenue increased by 13.5% to £1.23 billion. Adjusted profit before tax was up 21.4% to £15.8 million. Highlights include a 9.9% increase in new car sales, whilst used car sales were up 8.2%. After sales revenues were up by 8.5%. Indian car manufacturer Mahindra officially announced today that it will be launching its E20 electric car in London next month. A key part of its appeal will be its price tag, set to be in the region of £13,000. The car will be available to buy directly through online channels rather than through the traditional dealer network, with telephone and face-to-face -face assistance available seven days a week. This move represents the company's first attempt to gain a foothold in a car market away from India, where the compact all-electric city car has undergone extensive testing. Volkswagen is facing a £26 billion lawsuit filed by investors from around the world. They say the company took too long to release information about its emissions scandal. According to reports, the lawsuit was compiled on behalf of 278 institutional investors. It's said to be the most substantial legal challenge to have been mounted in the manufacturer's home country since news of the affair broke last September. There has been positive news for the VW Group too, though, with Seat closing 2015 with a profit after tax of €6 million, Euros, a huge shift from the company's €66 million Euro loss in 2014. Growth in sales and a strong product mix with a higher contribution margin were the two main driving forces behind the change, according to the carmaker. Former operations director of Sitna Group, Geoffrey Page Morris, has joined Sit now to help support business expansion. After 18 years working with Sitna, Page Morris left the group last summer to start his own consultancy business. He will now work closely with the Wokingham-based firm's senior team on a part-time basis, supporting current developments into new markets. In York, JCT600 has started work on a £815,000 redevelopment of its Volkswagen dealership in Clifton Moor Gate. It's part of an ongoing programme to enhance the group's Volkswagen dealership. Work began on the 380 square metre showroom in January and is expected to be completed in early June. 
The refurbishment includes comfort zones, enhanced hospitality areas, a business lounge and a customer quiet zone. The man who established and managed the fleet division at Virtue Motors has retired after nearly half a century in the motor trade. Virtue Group Fleet, part of Virtue Motors PLC, has now said farewell to David Jewell, who joined the company in 2008. During his eight years with the business, he oversaw the launch of the fleet division. Since its launch, Jewell has watched his team increase from just three to 20 members, while the fleet itself has risen from 500 to 10,500 vehicles. Finally, a big screen star is up for sale on Autotrader. The Ford Mustang GT500 Shelby Cobra for sale at Motorhub in Keithley featured as Eleanor in the 2000 remake of Gone in 60 Seconds. It's one of six cars that was made for the film and even features the Go Baby Go button on the gear shift. I'll be back again next week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or to subscribe to our mailing list. Just click on the link above my head now. Thanks for watching. This has been Tradeplates TV News Show.